Hi, my name is Kendall. I'm with Sun Camper RV of Okeechobee, and today I'd like to show you a brand new 2020 J Flight 184 BS. This is a bunk room slide trailer. It's all of about 20 feet long. We're going to go inside first. Queen bed up front. There is access underneath this bed to access the pass through storage underneath. Very deep cabinets. A little bit of storage up here on the side. Bungees. LED lights throughout. This is your speaker here and there's a speaker there for the radio in here. Dinette slide. This table drops down. This can be a bed. There is a drawer underneath it. Making use of space wherever. That's what Jayco is known for. A little gas electric refrigerator. It does have a freezer. It's hard to see at that angle, but it's right here. On the handle, there we go. This is your kitchen here. Of course, uh, stainless fixtures. Decent sized sink, single basin sink. Dual burner stove. This is your furnace right here. Got a range hood and a microwave in this one. That's your AM, FM, uh, Bluetooth radio. This plays music in here, or you can play music out there, or both. The Medic AC unit. The furnace is also Dometic. That's the uh, thermostat. For, <coughs> excuse me, the thermostat for the furnace right there. There we go. Large pantry. Look how far back that goes. For such a small trailer, it's uh, pretty crazy. Storage underneath. I don't know if I opened this, but it's for like a trash can underneath there. Two bunks back here. There's a light for each one. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, outlet underneath there. bathroom in the back. That for toilet. Single pedal design, push it halfway down to fill, all the way to flush. You do have a tub shower combination in this. It's mainly because of the size of the trailer. But you got a skylight so a taller person can fit in there no problem. Then you got a skylight in here also. Vent cranks open. Small trailer, so there's not too much to go over. I guess we can go over these features here. Of course, you've got your light switches one for the awning and one for the main lights in the ceiling. Each one of these lights have their own button in the center, like I said. Uh, this is for your slide room, that's for your awning. It's an electric awning, of course. Uh, electric awnings are pretty much standard now. This is your control panel that's battery level, uh, fresh water tank level, black water, and gray. It has electric and propane hot water heater so it has an electric anode and then the propane is electric start of course it has a water pump and a water tank fresh water tank on it uh, this is where you hook up your TV to and that's the booster for it you can have a 12 volt television in here because it has a cigarette lighter plug and then that about covers it in here there is a privacy curtain that goes across the bed area and notice that window in the front too it's a lot of light in here Right outside, this is going to be a good one uh, to go over um, some construction features with you. Uh, each one of these sections, what Jayco does is they lay a bead of silicone before they clip the panels together. Kind of makes it a mess and, and uh, makes it uh, frustrating for the, the people assembling it, but it provides a better seal. Um, other brands will clip them together and then put a bead of silicone in there. So these ones, while the silicone is still wet, they clip them together so it is glued and it is there to stay. Uh, and you won't have problems with water going up in there when you're going down the road. Of course, that's your uh, outlet for stuff on your patio. Goodyear tires on everything now, everything Jayco. 
uh, they are rated to something like 150 miles an hour and then they take into account the weight that's on them and they drop the rating down to whatever it might be. The bigger trailers are still 80, 85 miles an hour rating on them. Electric awnings with the pull down to adjust the pitch. So really straightforward. Uh, we're gonna walk to corner here because it's another construction thing. This is called butyl tape. Jayco uses a type of butyl tape that doesn't crack uh, as as often um, as other brands. Other brands with the Florida sun, in a couple years you'll start to see cracks and they'll start to drip. Uh, this is a different formula, so it'll take years and years before you ever have to uh, address this. But this stuff here, um, other brands will run two strips, the full height of this trim of butyl tape, and then just press it down. What Jayco does is they have uh, individual strips they stack two of them in each one of these valleys by hand and then they run one strip over the top of everything and then they sandwich it down so these valleys don't have to be backfilled like other brands have to do afterwards they have to backfill these because there's voids LED lights all the way around reverse lights on the trailer up here it's another uh, Jayco thing all right Bless you. All right, so rubber membrane roof. A lot of companies will use the same trim you see on the corners and it wraps up and around the roof. But what that does is that creates a dam and going down the road that will force water underneath the edge of the trim and you'll wind up with a leak in the back wall. Jayco takes the rubber membrane, they wrap it down around the back of the roof and they put a flat strip here so the water can run easily off the roof going down the road. See if I can get down without hurting myself. All right. Around this side is where a lot of your utility hookups are. Such a small trailer, it still has the older style plug that you just pull out. So it has its own little storage compartment in there, storage cabinet that it feeds back into. Um, now with one of these, that is a benefit because you don't have to carry a cord separately in your front storage and it leaves leaves that space available for something else. City water connection. Cable TV input. That's your gas and electric hot water, or yeah, gas and electric hot water feeder. Underneath there is your gray water and black water uh, hookup for your sewer hose. This is your single slide. This is a worm gear style slide. They're really light slides and they I've never seen one have a problem. Um, now I have to educate some folks. Uh, you'll only really see problems with slides if you let them sit out for a very long time. Um, if you're using the slide and you keep it lubricated, you won't have a problem with it. I've seen trailers that are 1980s and the slides still work fine. Um, and then again, I've also seen trailers 2015 and somebody's left them out since brand new and never maintained them. They go to put their slide in one day and it won't go in. Big surprise, you gotta maintain these things. So, and it's not hard to do so. There's a, a product called Slide Lube. It's uh, like a really sticky uh, spray lubricant. You put it on these rails right here and you're good to go. There's a few different types of slides. If you stop by and we're looking at trailers, I'll teach you about the, the three most common styles. Uh, there's cable, there's worm gear, and there's rack and pinion. And I'll tell you the pros and cons of all of them. Uh, there's really no cons with this style. As long as it's on a smaller slide, you never have a problem with it. And that's generally where, where, they, uh, where they use the worm gear is on lighter slides. Uh, let's see, you got your single propane tank on the front. And enough space for two batteries. Fresh water fill is right there. There's that big front window. Oh, storage. It goes uh, most of the way across. I believe they have some utilities over there uh, on that side. Probably the fresh water tank is stored over there. That box for the microwave there has some accessories in it that come with your trailer. All right.
that about covers everything. We have a bunch of these little trailers and, and slight variances between them. Uh, we have some of these that don't have a slide at all. If, if you are still certain that you don't want slides, I know a lot of people are concerned about them. And I try to ease that uh, by educating them on how you can take care of them and uh, when you do have problems with slide, what, slides, what causes it because uh, it's usually you know, not maintaining it. Or if you have a slide that's 20 feet long, uh, sometimes those ones do, do have problems with sagging, but you can adjust them. So it's, it's not that scary of a thing. A uh, rack and pinion slide that's 20 feet long, there's a couple bolts underneath it to adjust it. So if it starts to sag a little bit, you just adjust it back up. Um, so slides aren't as scary as, as the internet makes them seem. Uh, again, my name's Kendall. I'm with Sun Camper RV of Okeechobee. My phone number is 903-816-2838. Again, that's 903-816-2838. And uh, if you do want to look at this one or any of the other ones that are on our website, give me a call first. I'll have it plugged into the AC on. All right. Thank you.